We stitched the tire with just having plugs and bailing wire and a pair of pliers. Not only did we make it hold air, but we went out and tested it for you. We went ahead and we did some rock crawling. We did some pretty decent burnouts and we went and ran at about 50 miles an hour just to make sure that it would hold. <laughs> What are you doing there with that chufa jim? Dude, it's windy and cold. We gotta warm up the tire before we plug it up. All right, guys, so there's a lot of controversy. We always watch on Facebook or any other, I don't know, any other social media. I always hear people say like, oh, you're stupid if you don't carry a spare or other people are like, who needs a spare because you have plugs? And some people are like, what if you gas your tire and you can't fix it with the plugs that you have? Well, if you have enough plugs, bailing wire, and a pair of pliers, you can pretty much fix everything. What would you say? That crack's about a foot long? <laughs> <laughs> we got, we got a, almost an eight inch slice in this sidewall. And uh, let's take a look at that. So if everyone says, oh, you can't plug a sidewall. You can't plug a sidewall. I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> I might owe you a tape measure. <laughs> I'm not saying that you should plug a sidewall, especially don't try to run one as a daily. That's dumb to be running a daily sidewall plug. But if you're on the trail and you have a flat tire and you need off the trail, you can absolutely fix just about any tire. We're gonna stitch up that tire in a process of which we put more holes in the tire so we can stitch it up with bailing wire and then we plug all the holes we made and we plug the big gash. And we're gonna take uh, one step back, but two steps forward. Yep, so we'll, we'll show you how we do it. We'll show you how we stitch. If you have a rig that's set up to carry a spare tire that you drive on the street to get to the trail, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to carry a spare, like a 35, 37, 33, whatever. You know, if you gotta drive two hours to the trail, wheel it, and then drive two hours home, Bring a spare, but also bring plug kits and bailing wire because if you shred one tire, chances are you could probably shred two. You'd never be too prepared. So we're gonna go ahead and get the tools and show you what you need and show you how much more compact that it is than a full size 42 inch tire. And uh, so that way you know it's carry on the trail with you to get you off the trail. Interested in a little game of war there, Jim? Yep. All right. Didn't bring my battle suit for nothing. Red wins, Jim. Uh-oh. Stack them. Are you gonna take them? Nope. Nobody had a red one yet. Oh. Ah, they're stuck. Ooh, a double. <laughs> what does that mean? Wait a minute. Yeah, red wins. No, what are we doing? We're supposed to be putting these in the tire, not playing with them. Ah. Oh. Let's get back to work. On the trail, not always are you gonna have like the best cleaning stuff, like soap, water, anything. But you'll have a beer or water or something like that. You can just kind of get on there. Ooh, that beats right off. You just kind of wipe it off so that way you don't get a bunch of dust in your plugs. You don't want to grab your nice new sweatshirt like I do. And then you want to kind of get that surface just real nice. Well, you're working with the best you got. But I mean, remember, like, working with the best you got is like the, the key of everything in off-road. Because you don't have a full-size shop with a full toolbox of tools. I mean, you got what you got, and uh, you just gotta make it work. And that's why this is gonna come in key later on for you guys, if you guys ever have one of these slashes, to be able to just have some bailing wire, a pair of pliers, some plugs, plug kit, and a source of air. You're gonna be right on your way. All right, so in, in most toolkits, you're gonna get one of these, and if you don't have one, it's a reamer, you're gonna want one. So this here reams out, like if you have a small hole, you wanna go through and make sure that you get all like the splines off the cords on there and stuff. So you wrap, 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 wrap real fast. And then uh, in this case, we're gonna use the tip of this to actually 
poke holes in the tires so that way we can actually put in our stitches. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. You first wanna kind of inspect your gas here to see, ooh, ooh. It's got lungs. Ooh. Give her a little CPR there, but you want to actually inspect your gas here. So see how there's a little overlay here? Um, typically if that actually split and went around like this, then you'd put a hole here and a hole here, but it actually looks like it's a clean split here. So we're just gonna go ahead and put them as, as normal. So you're gonna wanna start where you feel most comfortable. There's no right way or wrong way about this that I know of, but you're gonna wanna start to not say about right here. No, there it is. Pull it down. You just find the ones that you like. And... But we got holes right there, and those are going to be our stitch points. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right. So next step is you need some bailing wire, as you see. Usually, I mean, dude, bailing wire is 10 times better than duct tape. I don't care what you say. Leave it in the comments if you disagree, but I'll, I'll take bailing wire any day. But uh, take your bailing wire. Now you're gonna have to go through one hole and then you go through it and then out the seam and then through the other hole and out the seam and then you're gonna tie it on this side. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And then once you get quite a bit through there, you reach in and once it, once you start tightening up towards the top, you use your pliers, but right now we can use our hands. Grab that sucker and pull her through to about right there. Give you something to tie onto. Once you get through, then you're gonna go on this side and repeat. Then you reach back in there and get your other end there. Try not to get it tangled in any cords. You don't want to pull it on anything, making it loose. And then the same thing, you're going to pull this one tight. You got, you got the, the loop in it. You got the wrong end there. You got a little excited. Ooh. So now That's real. our stitch we need to connect these. Oh, there good. Then obviously you want to clip these off. Leave them a little bit so you can kind of put them where you want them later. Cue the time lapse. Bom, 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 bom. Obviously, we have to go ahead and plug the holes that we already made um, on the outside, and then we gotta plug the entire slit down here. So we're gonna go ahead and get working on that. And once we're done with that, we're gonna air it up and see if it holds air. Oh yeah, we can hear it. Probably got a couple pounds in there. We got one, maybe two or three spots where it needs a plug. So like we're not endorsed by Napa or anything, but the Napa plug kits with the orange plugs. Oh, get in there. Dude, they are more sticky than dog poop after it ate a can of baked beans. Twist and crack. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. It's less leaker. Far less leaker. 
All right, so we left it overnight and woke up this morning because we wanted to make sure it held air. And guess what? It holds air. Little poke it. I mean, we didn't put much air in there, but it's still holding it. So we are good to go. It looks out of this world. Oh, here we go. That's a heavy basketball. She got air, Jim. She got air. She's got air in it. Let's put it on the Jeep. Is that the ocean? They're they're balancing rocks. <laughs> when it was flat, it got dirt and rocks in it, and now those rocks are gonna be like balancing beads. Life hack. Draw <laughs> hack. You ever seen a short bus wrestle a big tire? You're about to. You ever hear the strongman challenge? Dude, I would fail at it. This is the crawl man challenge. All right, Jim, lug nut time. Lost my nuts. Ah, there they are, there's our lug oh. Sending. Oh, yeah, I'm sending that. Dude, it holds air. <laughs> so we've gone, what, about three miles? Yeah, about one mile on pavement, about two miles on dirt. Still got air in it. We're still driving and it's not going blah, 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 blah. So, I mean, it's doing pretty good. We're gonna pull up here and give her a little inspection before we actually put her on some trail. Make sure there's no little weeps going on. It's not falling apart. Let's check it. What do you think, Kimber? Is it good? I seriously think this has more air in it than any other tire in this rig. And I don't hear any leaks. No, it's not hissing at all. No. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. So sometimes after you get it all stitched up and you start rolling, the plugs will start to settle a little bit and you'll hear it hissing a little bit when you when you roll the tire and the weight of the Jeep's on it. Just take it's another- where the fold's at, where it's folding. You just take another plug, stick another plug in it. It's not like we don't have 65 already in there. <laughs> and I mean, if it's only hissing when the weight of the Jeep's on it, when the tire's at the bottom, what do you mean when the plugs are at the bottom of the tire? That's still better than when the gash was just, you know, gaping. Good as new. Do you hear anything? Because I don't hear anything. Give her a shot. See what it does. Time for burnouts. We're good. <laughs> yeah. Dang it, he dusted me out again. Burnout approved. If you gotta give it the beans to get up a hill or something to get off the trail or to get wherever you're going, you can give it the beans, let it rip. Still holding good, baby, good. What do you think, Jim? I don't know, dude. I don't think you're ever going to need to do a burnout when you're on a lippy tire, but we're just making sure you can if you want to. <laughs>
proof in the pudding. I don't know what is. I don't recommend you try this at home. He's gonna do a little speed run and just to show you that it's actually strong and it will actually hold together. But I do not suggest going this fast with the plug tire. Not, not even a little bit. But it's strong and we're gonna show you. <laughs> we tested this thing way harder than you would like want to actually run it if you had to do this repair on the trail you know if you did this repair on the trail you wouldn't want to burn the tires you wouldn't want to rub it on the rocks you wouldn't want to run 40 50 miles an hour you know you want to keep the sidewall off rocks as much as you can be as nice to it as you can you know we just over tested it just to show you that it, it will hold. You know, that's a worst case scenario deal. You want to be as nice to it as you can when you're on the trail. But also, you know, it you have to drag the sidewall on something. Uh, apparently you can. If you guys want to see us run this in the next couple videos, just to see if it holds, or run it in all the videos until it doesn't hold, comment below, give us a like, make sure to subscribe. And uh, if we get enough comments and likes, we're going to go ahead and run this thing until it can't. <laughs>